Somebody really push you to the limit. Okay, um, you could be saving when it comes to your finances, but I'm picking up, you could be saving when it, like, pulling your energy back energetically. Like, you could be reserving your energy even more. Um, or you're just very protective over yourself right now. You're saving your energy, your funds, whatever you got going on, you're saving it for yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. Somebody can feel this energetically. Somebody can feel like you're being mean because you're holding back. What's this? Four and two, break it down to a nine. Um, one and three, break it down to a four. Yeah. You, <laughs> you're very protective over your energy at this time. It comes to you. Yeah, third will. Three and seven, break it down to a ten. So 37 and 49 could be significant for someone. But with this, um, you know about a third will. Okay, this could be an enemy um, or somebody who put you in a third party situation, but you're very aware. You see the sun on the back. Um, something has been illuminated to you. Yeah, daydream. Six of one, break it down to a seven. So 61 could be significant, but somebody could be um, daydreaming about um, about you because something is a completion. Six of one, break it down to a seven. Something is a completion. Something about an illusion could be coming to an end as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody was optimistic that they could keep you on some type of illusion. Mm hmm. Or some type of fantasy I just heard. So y'all resonate. But there's some type, whatever the third will is with this saving, I just feel like I said, you could be saving your money. Um, if so, you should be. But for a lot of you guys, I'm just putting the, I'm just, um, like I'm hearing like you putting up when it comes to like your energy, like you reserving it for people who are worthy of your energy. <laughs> Cause with this third will and daydream, Something about illusion is is broken. Somebody feels that you're putting your energy, um, you're pulling your energy back. Somebody can feel like you're saving and you're just not giving to them. Mm hmm Yeah, again, but you okay. <laughs> Look at this. Okay is self-love. I kept seeing it from the beginning. This is only giving me that whoever this third will is, whoever this person that's daydreaming about you, that they thought was gonna have you in some type of illusion. Okay. I feel like your intuition is on point. Something was illuminated to you. And you decided to set up boundaries with okay and self-love. You just pour it into yourself. Yeah, that is the ultimate goal for you right now. Okay? Mm. Somebody could have been wanting you out in the cold. Somebody wanted you to be homeless. Somebody wanted you to, your finances, five and three, break it down to eight. Somebody wanted your finances to be affected. They wanted your career to be affected. They wanted something to come to an end. So this giving me somebody who you rejected. Maybe this person was in competition with you. Four and three, break it down to a seven. Six and five, break it down to 11. So you, okay, so you awakened into something, Sun sees, and you caused the ending by rejecting someone and choosing you. And now someone only has the thoughts of you. That's it. That's all they have is the thoughts, okay? So this all is about you rejecting someone um, someone trying to cause you challenges and obstacles because they really in regret. Okay, that you put your energy back and chose you. <laughs> What's this saving, Holy Spirit? Yeah, bow. Okay. So wish, hope, and worship. Okay. Oh, child. So somebody wanted you to worship them or bow down to them and just give and give and give. I mean, somebody feel, with well, this savings and vow, it's giving me heavy entitlements. Whatever you have built for yourself, whatever you have, somebody feels entitled to that, okay? Whether it's your energy, your finances, you invested in them, in any type of ways, whoever this dirt will is, somebody just felt like you owe them. They feel entitled. And because you could have rejected this person or pulled your energy back, somebody could have pulled the third party in it. Because somebody is really feeling some type of way. They really in regret. Okay. They can't compete when they don't compare. This person could be trying to find other parties to, like, you know, replace you or, you know, do what you did. 
mm -mm, this is not working. It still got them in this daydream. It still got them fantasizing about you, thinking about you. So obviously, whoever the third will is, they ain't doing what they supposed to be doing, okay? Because this person's focused all about, all on the one who's in his self-love and okay energy. <laughs> Yeah, it's always better to choose yourself and not pull somebody else into your misery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, focus on you. See, somebody doesn't like that about you. Thank you, spirit. Ooh, it makes this person furious. Oh, my goodness. They mad. Ooh, child. Stressed. Ooh. Irritated. Natural disaster. Memory. Somebody is wishing ill on you. Nightmare. Family. But something is going right back to sender. Again, uh, reservation. You very reserved over your energy, care. You taking care home, okay? There's an ending to someone who's trying to frighten you or someone who tried to cause depression or tried to, like, it's giving me scare tactics. Somebody tried to make you feel afraid if you decided that if you would separate yourself from them or not. Oh, shit. Somebody is. I heard bad. They bad. Some seeds. They bad. Somebody wanted you to fear separating yourself from them. Like, oh, I'm the head macho. Like, oh. <laughs> like, like, this is somebody who is, okay, thank you, spirit. This is a, a vengeful energy. So if you choose you, somebody else will pull somebody else into their misery. They really will. Mm hmm. So this person definitely can have some type of abandonment issues. But I feel like with this daydream, this person is constantly being reminded of you. Yeah, again, oh my goodness. This person is furious. They are mad. Third will, whoever this person is, they are mad. Seven and four, break it down to 11. So 11, 11 is out here. This could be a twin flame um, connection. Or someone could just be awakening to a situation and calling a final judgment. It's something about your intuition. You see through a person. What's this card? Yeah, they tried to cause some type of turbulence in your life. Somebody wanted to, you to be irritated. Somebody wanted you to be beat up, battered, and abused. Five and seven, break it down to a 12. One, uh, one or two, break it down to a three. Because, wow. Somebody didn't want you to be on the right path. But you're constantly being guided, Sunseeds. You will always know. It irritates someone that they couldn't have you in a connection where I'm just going to be honest with you. This wasn't going to be very loving. This was going to be somebody who was going to like, you know, make you feel like you was going to get your behind kicked in this connection. Dealing with whoever this person is, family, romantic, take it how it resonates. But this was somebody who wanted to be able to say, I can hold you like I can hold you up. But look, if you look at this man, he has no bruises on him. Look at this woman. Her arms, her legs, everything. You was going to be the only one told the hell up. But this is somebody that wanted to say, oh, well, you know, I carried that person. I helped that person. You know, I gave to that person. But this is, this, this is not somebody who wants you to choose self-love and okay. They want to tear you up. Somebody is very vengeful and very jealous and feel very entitled. But I feel like only because they was rejected. The death card, frightened, triumphant. So, something backfired. Because you're this honest, loyal person. And you're getting a victory. Somebody knows that. Alliance with triumphant? Yeah, they know that. It's like you won something that you didn't even know you was you you was you was in the run up for it. <laughs> like you was being tested, frightened in death. Somebody is frightened that something is coming to an end. Somebody needed your energy. Yeah. It's like the more that they 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 um you feel down, depressed, less about yourself, battered, bruised, possibly wanted you to feel like the victim. Cause look how this woman is so tore up and this man just hold her. Like, oh child. Somebody needed your energy. <laughs> but it's, you, you're just too intelligent. Yeah, look at the bottom. You live and you learn. Look at this. Live and learn and bully. Oh child. Look at this, sweetheart. Come with the Holy Spirit. Sweetheart, bully, 
and live and learn. Wow, spirit. Somebody wanted your energy. And you could have possibly rejected this person. And because you pulled your energy back and only focused on yourself, somebody thought they was going to bully you. Somebody, this person could be a bully, a physical or a spiritual bully. Okay? But this is somebody who gossip about you, feels entitled. Somebody is embarrassed about how reserved you are when it comes to yourself. I don't understand why people think because you love hard or you just... You're very loving, you're a sweetheart, and you're very caring, you know, towards others. That you don't love yourself. <laughs> like, I don't know what's wrong. But they say hurt people hurt people, so I guess I'm not supposed to get it. You know? But this is somebody who was a bully. Okay, live and learn. Somebody gonna learn a, 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 a lesson by trying to play with just... Any and everybody, because you're a sweetheart. Family and liberation. Somebody will, will pray in donation and religion. Somebody can be very religious. Yeah, it's, you just self-love, you joy. You're very friendly. Yeah, somebody wanted you to be bonded to like a contract with them. But this, with well, homeless and real estate, somebody could have also, I'm telling you, somebody is vengeful and mean. Okay. Somebody wanted you to lose your home or your wealth, your investment. Somebody wanted you to be poor, gain, and perfection. Ooh, child. But look at this. You're creative. You keep coming up with ideas. Okay. You're very adventurous. Okay. You freed yourself. Okay. You freed yourself. Somebody could have wanted you to yeah, external love and sweet dreams and strategy. Somebody who you was in a connection with, you freed yourself with, and they just, they're very eventful. Only because it's giving me like five of cups. They in regret. Somebody is in regret. Okay? They in regret because whatever they planned or whatever they sought out for you, it didn't work. It didn't work. You chose yourself. Okay? It's also giving me the five of wands. Somebody could have been competing or just trying to court challenges and obstacles in your life. Because of a rejection. They didn't even mean you know well. I don't understand why people people literally be what like you just um you just too intelligent. <laughs> Something slowed down and, and you just was like, I'm I'm gonna choose me. Okay. Somebody just wanted you to just like conform to them. What's a daydream, Holy Spirit? Child. Daydream is clear flower real estate. Maybe this person is into real estate, investment, management, wealth. This person seems you as like a market, like something that they can market, something that they can invest in, but, but not invest in like... Somebody felt like they could make money off of you. They could sell you, or you could make them look good. Because look at this real estate, this man and this woman. Somebody just felt like... You can make them look good. Whatever they daydreaming about, because I heard earlier, fantasy. So something that they really want, maybe they want to accomplish something. If somebody felt like you'd be the person perfect on a team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And with the savings and the, with the vow, somebody could have been hoping and wishing that you would invest in whatever they got going on. Why you know this person had third parties? You know this person doesn't want to see you do good. Somebody wants an energy, energy band, but they want to suck you. Somebody wants what you have. They feel like you will be a good investment. They can market you, but it's not market where some of you guys probably saying, "What's well? What they gonna get? I ain't got no money to get it." It could be your energy. Somebody want to manifest off of that self love and okay. Oh, chef, some uh, idea. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Give me a part of the real estate, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, trap. I cannot make it up. Victim, a lord, trick. Somebody wanted to trap you, okay, and put you in some type of third world party. But this, this person doesn't want to let go of you. They can't get out their mind about you. Somebody feels like things will work better if you're on their team. Oh, child. 
seven and eight breaking down to a 16, one and seven breaking down to a seven, 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 seven. I cannot make it a one and six breaking down to a seven, seven, zero, seven here. Oh my goodness. No, this is 15, 7, and 8, bring it down to a 6. Yeah. Somebody wanted you to go on partnership with you, but there were some red flags about this person because this person was only trying to market off you. Somebody wanted to get, get their shit off the ground and use your energy. You just see this, hoping that you will invest in them to get whatever they're trying to manifest off the ground. And you was going to be tore up and, and battered and bruised. And this was going to be somebody that was going to be like, I, 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 I can carry you. I can carry you. I can hold you up. But this is the one who the, the one who who tearing you down. Oh, child. Yeah, stress. Hey, I'm telling you, you'll be. This is somebody who'll be like, you. You'll be. Look, look how this woman look again. And look at this man. Only the bruises on the woman. And look at the man look fine. But he just got her on her shoulder. This is somebody that want to stress you out and then age you and take care. I don't know why they. I don't know why they're stressing you. I don't know why you're going through this. Everything gonna be alright. But the one who you see, but I see what that mean was. I posted not too long ago on my community board. Let me see. Sometimes God, I think it says sometimes God says no because not um not who um because who's around you. Sometimes you say no, you know. Let me let me say. Oh, child, this person who had, oh, child, Sunseeds. Somebody thought they was going to be like, some, it says sometimes a not get from God is actually not with them around. Somebody around you was trying to trap you. And then you was going to be, they wanted to have you stressed out and be the one who was going to help you. And this is the one who's causing the, the damage. And they they knew what they was going to do the whole time. Illness, withdrawal, accident. Ooh, child. You, listen. This is nothing but a disaster. Thank you, spirit. A nightmare. This could possibly be a friend of yours. Okay, with gold and pride, somebody who's prideful. Maybe this could be somebody who you considered as a friend at one time, and you decided to pull your energy back because something was just it didn't sit right with your spirit. And this person then can't take rejection very well. So this person wants to be a bully. I heard a bully in a spirit. Somebody is mean, and they don't know how to handle rejection. I have seen the um. I get these affirmation things to my phone every day. And I thought earlier it said something about confidence. Okay. And it was just like, um, like don't basically don't lose your confidence just because someone else, you know, he or she doesn't like you, you know. I forgot what else the, the last part of it. But I thought it was like you don't have to like someone, but you should respect them. You don't gotta and that you ain't gotta like me. You ain't gotta like someone. But you respect them. This is somebody that just does not believe in those type of... This, this is somebody that feels rejected or any type of way because they plan they go through. They want to they wanna tear your life down. They want to they wanna, they wanna mess up everything. Like, this is a mean person all because you chose yourself. Okay? 7-7, seven, seven, that's a warning. That's a red flag. Okay? If you ever, you ever got to feel like you got to question your intuition about somebody, then maybe you need to take a step back. You know, maybe you need to make sure you see things clearly. Doesn't mean that it, 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 um, it's right or wrong, but you're just taking a step back. This is somebody who does not handle rejection very well. Yeah, adventurous. Yeah, with mass. Mm -mm. I feel like you freeze yourself. You freeze yourself of somebody who you thought was not who, who you wanted to work with. Two and four, break it down to a six. You know, maybe you realize this person has a lot of mad, and it's just something that you it just that you didn't agree with. Okay. Who child? What's this aid? This somebody who who mm -mm, it's giving me like charity and kindness and trap. Like this somebody who wants you to feel like they at your aid, they there to help you, but they really trying to trap you in a situation. Oh hell to the no. What's the aid, Holy Spirit? 
Mm. Conforming. Tolerance. Unfreedom. Yeah. Somebody conforming. Somebody wanted to have you trapped. Thinking. It's like. Listen, somebody want to have you in a five and six, bring it down to 11 again. You got to let, you can be sitting 11, 11 out here, um, a lot, but you're awakening just that somebody wanted to have you in a uh, mental prison trap. Somebody wanted ownership over you. Okay. And when you, when somebody wants you to feel like you'll be the only one that they have. And when you need assistance, they'll be right there. But this is the one who's doing the damage to you behind the scenes. Yeah. Loss and live and learn. You could have felt like you, you know, <sighs> this was something that you definitely had to learn. You could have walked in blindly. But one thing about you, I feel like um, you operate from a heart space. With this green on here, living to learn, I feel like you operate at a heart space. I don't think you would change how you love on people. I think you would just, you know, just be have a balance between your emotions and being logical when dealing with people. Because I feel like whatever this loss was, it did hurt you. And whoever this person is, I don't think they realize that. Only thing they see is the rejection, you know? Um, I do feel like you're very much protected. This person could be also um, learning a lesson about, you know... Um, not 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 being so controlling, you know? Cause they had a real one, a loyal one. Someone was controlling, they was very dominant and they and they wanted to have power over you for their own selfish gain. Yeah, care. This person sees you as a gift, some seeds, death and accident. Oh child. Right? Right, ceremony, mystery, magic, danger, caution, injury, death, endless harm. Ooh, so, wow. And this is like, like a Ouija board. Ooh, wait, a ceremony, an accident? So somebody could have had to like, somebody could have tried to sacrifice you? Somebody could have been wanting you dead or have an accident? You know what? Yeah, a nightmare. Oh my goodness. Something is backfiring on this person. External love and care to somebody who you cared about. You genuinely had love. You know what? Okay, let's move right along. Oh, child. Somebody literally wanted to see somebody out. What the freak? Yeah, fortune. Look at that. Look how the car just go. <laughs> the car just fell on my chest. Fortune and merchant. I'm telling you, somebody needed your money or they needed whatever your spiritual gift is to get something off and running. They was going to use that. This was a lover or a friend. Pleasure seekers. So somebody who had you in a third party, somebody is just terrible. Spirit, what's the saving and vow? Give me a card on the saving and vow. There's something that you're passionate about that you committed to. And somebody, little, you know, yeah, cheerfulness, saving and vow, cheerfulness. What's under the bottom? The widower. So somebody could have literally been trying to take somebody out, kill somebody. I don't even say stuff like that. And it was not, it could have just been an ending. Somebody wanted to, but with the widower, this is, you know what? Lord, oh my goodness. Somebody was literally trying to sacrifice somebody and they was going to be cheerful about it, happy about it, celebrated about it. Yeah, because all they wanted was money, money and despair, surprise and faithfulness. Yeah, young woman. See, whoever you are, you're a sweetheart. You're faithful. You're loyal. Okay. Um, I feel like this person is going to learn a hard lesson or, or currently learning a hard lesson. Then despair. Somebody could be actually going to off themselves because something backfired that they try to send out to you or try to bully you in some type of way. Because that's not fair. You know? You don't have to like somebody, but you sure as hell, my nose itching. But you sure as hell should respect them. Because you don't know who people are in the spirit, you know? And ain't nobody higher than God. What's the cheerfulness, David and Vows? Yeah, scholar. Mm-hmm. 
This is somebody who studies you. They watch you all the time. I mean, this person studies and observes your every damn move. Okay? Reunion. And they wait to see how they're going to reunite with you. This could be a friend of yours. Friend waiting in a reunion with metal lady and foe. But this whoever, wow. Whoever this foe is, okay? This person wanted to see you in some type of illness or sickness or wanted to see you on your, you know what? Damn. Somebody wanted to cause you illness. Somebody wanted to cause you sadness. Somebody wanted you to be fudged up out here. Fudged up. What's the third wheel theory? This could be a group of people working together or somebody will put you in a third party. Yeah, letter. What's the letter, Holy Spirit? Old woman. Wow. So letter and old woman. This could be a mature woman or somebody who was like, it's giving like a petition or something. Like, what the hell is I'm picking up on? Somebody is literally... What's the what's the letter an old woman before I say what I'm saying? Yeah. Old woman is clarified with young woman. Love. So this could be somebody who you love. You could be the old woman. You could be the young woman. This could be somebody who you had love for and message. So this is a letter and a message. This, this is heavy confirmation for somebody. Messenger and letter is out here. Okay? This is somebody that was a loved one. This is somebody that was close to you. Somebody is furious how something did not work out. This is the Disgusting. <clears throat> What's this madness? What is this madness? This person is just not satisfied until they feel like they could take you down. What's the spirit? I don't know who the hell this old woman is. Okay. Or young woman. You know, take what you know what side you on. You know what you the older woman. Or the young woman. But some of you guys with the younger woman, the older woman, I just feel like whoever you are, you could possibly be even just very mature, old soul. Okay, maybe somebody thought they could play on you because you're this younger woman and you don't know any better. But you actually done been here a couple of lifetimes, okay? Um, very old soul. And somebody just thought they could play on your top, and that was just not how it's gonna work. What's the fairy? What are they furious about? Something that they try to do was unpleasant. A house. And we have wife in reverse. Wow. So something about the house, the stability, or it could be like your temple, which is your body. Okay. A home, a commitment. Yeah. It's like you've seen something about somebody. You was like, oh, hell no. I'm not going to invest in that. I don't want no home with this person. I don't want to shit. It's something that's dark about this person. With the wife in reverse. What's the wife in reverse? You could decide to be like, no, yeah, sweetheart. <laughs> sweetheart out here twice, okay? And you have pleasure seekers. So somebody thought you was going to either be married to them or be like, maybe you're someone who's like a homebody. Or maybe this is someone who sees you as like a housewife, staying home, being naive, not knowing any better because they see you as this young woman or they see you just as a, as a sweetheart, which is out here twice. So somebody tried to play on you like if you didn't know any better. Okay? You're very intelligent. Yeah, you don't do third party. Third, you got third world and, and um, pledge seekers out here. So it was definitely a third party. So somebody is realizing, like, mm -mm, this young woman is very intelligent. Yeah, child and money. Who child? What's the daydream, Holy Spirit? What's the daydream? Daydream is false. So who the hell is this person that's daydreaming about you, fantasizing about you, they was fake and phony? Look, falseness and reverse. Who shall? Yeah, whoever this foe is, they wanted to they wanted to mask themselves. We seen the mask earlier. Um, somebody wanted to mask themselves and, and, and wear so many faces. Somebody, somebody did. Oh, somebody did not want you to see them for who they were. What's the falseness and reverse? Uh-huh. Yeah, consistency. This is somebody who was constantly changing up, sh shape shift the vibes. Like, yeah, heinous surprise wedding. Somebody was going to try to like be in a commitment with somebody for money. Mm -hmm. Trap somebody for money so they can invest in whatever their goals are, whatever they, they got going on, whatever they passionate about. Somebody was trying to use somebody. And it was literally is going to take somebody through a lot because somebody is out here living a life that <laughs> they got on that mask card. I think it was like 
It's somewhere in there. But I think it's like six pieces on there. So somebody could be like, my nose, you know what? It's like six different faces of this person. I don't know who the hell y'all dealing with. Sorrow and waiting, money, fortune, and what's this card? Faithfulness journey. Ooh, child, I can't make it out. There's somebody who wants to tear and wear somebody down with sorrow, waiting, okay, with money and fortune, okay? Faithfulness and journey. Whoever you are that's on this journey, Sun Seeds, okay? You're very faithful. There's some type of money or fortune that's coming to you. And somebody was just waiting for you to get your hands on this, okay? So they could pretend like they rocking with you and they here for you with the air. Like, I care for you when things go wrong. You need somebody to talk to them here. If you got a bruise on you, I can patch it up. But it's the same one behind the scenes that's literally trying to take somebody out because they want their gifts with the Lord that God gave you for them. Somebody did not want something to change between you and them. What's the live and learn? Live and learn, despair. Whoever this person is that's in despair, okay, they're living and learning a harsh lesson. You know, they are. They're the ones who are in sorrow. Something backfired. Something backfired. And somebody will forever feel this loss of losing a real one. What a one. I cannot make it up. Somebody will forever, forever Feel the loss of losing this real one. Ooh, child. There's a loss here. Yeah, I can't make it up. Mm. Whoever this woman is, or older gentleman, yeah, you got friend and priestess. Friend and priestess? Servant? Soldier? Somebody ancestor spirit, guys, is like, hold up. Hold up. To whoever this friend is, somebody who thought you was going to cater to them, be there for them, what's this priestess? Yeah, deep in reverse? Oh, hell nah. Somebody thought they was going to steal from a high priestess or a priestess? Somebody ancestors or spirit guides is like, hold up. I don't, this person wanted you to cater to them. This person coming up as a fake ass friend. Okay. What's this friend? They ain't their thoughts now. What they ain't their thoughts about? Yeah, service. About some work that they did. That's causing some type of misfortune. Okay. The doctor. Yeah, somebody's stressed out. Child room, consolation, um, reunion, prison. Somebody could have been thinking that they was going to reconcile with you in the hopes of something. Oh, what the hell? Somebody's thoughts and their mind is running through. Something could have been going on for six months, but proceed with caution. Something that could have been going on for two years now. Something definitely about six months. Maybe something was over six months ago. Ace of Swords to the World card. Something that you see the truth about someone. Will of Fortune. It was faded. Something was faded to happen the way how it did. Something could have been going on for three years. Something is, is some truth is being illuminated to you to set you free. Give me more Holy Spirit. What's this energy? I cannot. Look at this. Justice. Something. You see 11 on here. How many times I said 11, 11 out here? Libra energy, but there is justice here. Oh, shit. Ten of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Knight of Cups, the Shrimp card. Somebody was trying to make it hard, but baby, justice is here. Something could have been going on for five years. Five years, Ace of Swords. Somebody been trying to cause problems up to for five to three years on you. Okay? Oh, child, but justice is here. You about to get justice. Okay, karmic justice. Um, somebody is there's some type of truth that's about to be illuminated to you. Okay, or somebody could be wanting to come towards you and be honest and, re and reconcile with you. Okay, but there's some type of less life lessons that this person is learning about some type of laws. Okay, mm. the law could be involved as well. Give me more Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. King of Swords. 
something has something to do with the justice system. Ten of Cups. Somebody could be saying the truth about a family or some or somebody who they was married to, um, or they consider family. That could be why somebody is deciding to get a divorce with the with the wife in reverse. Maybe somebody is realized somebody only wanted to marry them for their fortune. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, something is oh, ooh, child. It's like somebody wanted this to slow someone up. But somebody is actually still like somebody is realizing that somebody is still persevering. They still persevering. They moving on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like you was very trustworthy. Very um somebody sees you as very hardworking as well. Somebody was trying to cause some type of illusion. What the justice card is, Holy Spirit. What's the justice? You have to receive some type of truth. Yeah, the magician. One eleven could be some neighborhood somebody. What's the um magician to the justice? Something that you manifesting. Thank you, spirit. Something you manifested three years ago is now coming into fruition. Mm hmm And it's causing some type of stress, anxiety. Something that you asked for three years ago is now being granted to you. Okay. Somebody knows this. What's the king of swords? The truth. Yeah, I feel like, you, like I said, you're very intelligent. Uh, <clears throat> With the justice of the king of swords, somebody could work in a legal system. Um... Somebody could have a law, um, a court issue, law, no trouble with the law. Okay. Somebody could definitely um, be dealing with somebody who works in a legal department. Maybe somebody is a lawyer. Somebody gets to the bottom of it. <laughs> okay. Somebody is fair. They believe in just. <laughs> okay. Period. With the yes. What's the truth for our Holy Spirit? The truth. Please and thank you. The truth is clarified with the moon. I'm telling you, whatever's hitting, somebody sees the truth. They're too intelligent. Something was within three months. Somebody could be um seeing something that happened three months ago, or be or uh, or something could be coming out in three months about someone. Okay, something that somebody predicted. Somebody is just sitting around waiting. Somebody could have wrongfully and 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 um. You know, said something on someone. It could have got somebody incarcerated. It could have been taken a while, you know, but if so, somebody is about to be free. Because there was something that was hidden. King of Cups to the King of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. What's the moon called, Holy Spirit? Well, somebody could have been trying to do this for three months. Yeah, three of swords. Somebody could have been trying to, like, manifest something for, like, Three months to like they they well we got three three out here within three years and within three months three three somebody the number the number three 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 you could be seeing that okay somebody guides is is making something like where everybody could see it see the truth somebody is about to get karma when it comes to somebody happiness or family. Or somebody just being free, you know, just being free. Somebody was trying to slow that down. Somebody did not want somebody to be free. They wanted to be them to be stuck to them, okay, so they could manifest off their energy. And they was hiding it with the moon card. But now that something has come to light to you, you're now, I feel like you're moving on with your life. And somebody is hurt. They're hurt, yeah. Four pinnacles to the devil. I cannot make it up to the hermit. Somebody was trying to hold on to you with the will of fortune? Hell no. Capricorn, Virgo, energy, four swords. Somebody was trying to hold you back from healing. Somebody did not want you to choose you. Ew. The sun card to the lover. Something, something is getting illuminated when it comes to a relationship or a lover situation. Yes. And look at this. Page of swords. Somebody is doing Somebody is investigating. The hermit to the page of swords, okay? You can have a, a spirit guide, okay? Or your ancestors could be looking in, like investigating something like, wait, hold up, hold up. What's going on here? Proceed with caution. Like, hold up, what's going on here? Something was just, something, when you ever see the justice card, it's because something was unfair. 
that happen. Okay? The justice card is to come out here to bring balance. Okay? To bring karmic justice to a situation. Because something was done unfairly in the past. And now it's about to be balanced out. What's the Ten of Cups? Uh, Ten of Cups is clarified. This is a lot, Spirit. I'm going to take a Nine of Wands. Judgment. Ten of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Lovers. Will of Fortune. Somebody close to you was trying to cloak, um, cloak their energy. Somebody wanted to cause a happy burden. Um... Somebody didn't want to see you, you know, move forward. They didn't like the fact that you kept going. Somebody felt like they did the most. Okay, somebody wanted to break you down to where you feel insecure, where you felt like you couldn't make certain decisions on your own, that you needed to lean on them. Okay. And whoever the person is, they could care less about the changes or Ten Wands being, you know, being here, like something could have, you know, was very overwhelming and burden. And whoever this lover is, mm -mm. I feel like you're going to heal from this. What's the lovers? I feel like there was a decision that was made here. And you chose you. Yeah, the strength card. I can't make it up. Two of wands. <laughs> you chose you. <laughs> you chose to make healthier choices and, and, and keep going, you know? The love is Ace of Pentacles to the Will of Fortune. Yeah, it's like somebody want a certain life for you or a certain certain thing to go out, you know, to go in their favor how they want. It's like somebody want to play God in your life, but there's only one God. It's not meant for somebody who I'm picking up on in this, in this lifetime or in this life to have what somebody want for you. Somebody don't want don't want well for you. Somebody don't like the fact with the shrimp car and the and the two of wands. Somebody doesn't like that you make healthy choices. Okay. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you go within. They don't they they don't like how how um how confident you are, um how assured you are when you make your next move, you know. Give me a card on the shirt. Ten of Pentacles. A six of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody wanted to steal from you. Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, Five of Cups. Uh, I'm going to put it back in because it ain't full out, but this is cool, sure. I'm telling you, it's not meant for somebody to have what somebody wants from you. They want to steal. They want misfortune. No. Somebody, no. What's the judgment? You know, what's the judgment of spirit? Somebody, uh, somebody wanted to delay you. Mm -hmm. Somebody wanted to play God and, 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 and control with you know destiny like that's not happening what's this what that five years in reverse something could have been going on for five years but we got what that five years in reverse what's this what that five years in reverse Holy spirit thank you king of pentacles and five of swords five five mm, 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 mm. you could have been going through something for five years maybe you was having trouble with your finances um, but something is about to change because whoever this person is, they feel defeated. Somebody feels defeated. Mm-hmm. Because it says, uh, within five years in reverse, King of Pentacles, Five of Swords. It's like somebody wanted to cause hardship towards your finances. They wanted you to experience some type of misfortune. Somebody wanted your whatever you have, your gifts. They wanted to, like, suck you dry of what you have. And but they feel defeated. What's the five of swords? You could be what's the five of swords? Something is just not working. Yeah, eight of cups. Mm-hmm. <laughs> who child? Three of Pentacles. Uh, this is somebody who who you moved on from. What's the eight of cups? I said eight of pentacles. This is the eight of cups. This is somebody who you moved on from. Mm-hmm. What's the eight of cups? 
somebody is in their feelings. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wanted to cause like some misfortune for you. But Spirit said no because you're loyal. You're faithful. Okay, you're a sweetheart. And nobody's out here perfect. But when you walk into connections and, and, and deal with people, your intentions is always pure. And that's what it's about. It's about the intention. And because somebody mean well, you know, somebody just, oh, they don't like that you're a good person or something. Yeah, the star card. There's some type of wish being granted to you. Well, five of pentacles and the seven of swords. Yeah, page of swords. Somebody was watching to take from you or to get you to experience some like mishap or loss, but Spirit said no. No, 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 no. There's a wish that's being granted. What's the star card, Holy Spirit? The chariot. Yeah, you're getting victory. You overcoming these obstacles. It wasn't easy, but you had the self-discipline and hard work. You put in the hard work to stay focused. And that's what Spirit wanted. Yeah, three of Pentacles and a World card. You know, who you know, I feel like whoever you was you was working with or or you know whoever wanted to get you to sign some contract. Um, I feel like you either you ended that contract, get up out of there, or you decided not to work with whoever these people were, this group of people is. What's the world card? The world card is clarified. I cannot make it up. You're deciding not to work with these people. Eight of Pentacles. Could definitely be a work situation. Somebody who you was in a friends group with or something. What's the Eight of, eight of Pentacles? Eight of Pentacles. Oh. Spirit said that's the truth. Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you decided to work by yourself. Like, you don't want to work with people. Like, maybe you decided, maybe you feel comfortable working by yourself because you see how people are. And there's nothing wrong with that. I can't make it up. Not a pinnacle to the hangman. You see how people are. Ten of swords that want to backstab you and betray you. You see the truth. People just want to get you trapped up and shit. Like, for what? Like, you're like, no. Yeah, four of wands. For what? <laughs> Look at this. Ace of cups to the four of wands. Something about your stability. Something about your new beginning. Okay. Something's going to happen within two weeks. Yeah, somebody could be wanting to come back and apologize, apologize to you. Okay. Somebody could be feeling like they're being forced to apologize to you. What's the Ace of Cups Holy Spirit? Thank you. High Priestess. <laughs> It's your gifts, baby. Queen of Pentacles. It's your gifts. It's your gifts. Mm -hmm. It's your gifts. Your intuition is so strong and powerful. What's the four wands, Holy Spirit? Four wands. Thank you. Three of Cups and the goddamn Nine of Cups. You know what? You about to be celebrating. There's a wish that's coming in for you. If somebody don't like it within six months and be very... It's like somebody kept trying to delay that for you. Like, delay... Like, they watch you and they study you and they can try to delay it. The spirit is like, no. I don't understand. Again, you ain't got to like somebody but respect it. Like, damn. Yeah, do it. Queen of Swords. Something that you about to do... Okay, some type of judgment that you have made. Maybe you call it judgment. What's the high priestess? Somebody is definitely in their feelings and their emotion within two weeks. Something's going to happen within two weeks. What's going to happen? Four cups. Mm. What's this? The fool card. So this is you freeing yourself. Okay, maybe something that just got bored. It's like same shit, different day. And you just like, somebody wanted you to like, 
Somebody also wanted you to like reject the job, walk away from a job. You know, somebody just wanted you to like give up. Somebody wants you like to go away. If they can't benefit off you, it's like go away. Two of swords in reverse. You see something. You see something. You see where the delay is coming from. You see the truth. The lies is being exposed. Something could have been going on for a year, but you see where the illusion is coming from. You see. Okay? Somebody who's trying to hold you back. Okay? Knight of Cups. Six of Cups. Somebody from your past. The Sun card. Something is being illuminated to you. Okay? Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. The reason why somebody want to work with you because they experience in poverty and hardship. Okay? And somebody wants your healing. Somebody feels like you're the wish. You're the magic wish. The Tower to the Death card. Like, ooh, shall. You know what? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, two of cups. Something is changing with a relationship. Yeah, five of wands. <laughs> Some type of conflict and drama. King of cups in reverse. Knight of wands in reverse. There's somebody who's arrogant, reckless. Somebody who gives, like, and you don't even want to listen to this person. This person is a fraud. Um, This person could be, like, a drug addict or alcoholic or someone who just... um. This could be somebody who just only look out for themselves. They only look out for themselves. This person could cause conflict in your life. This person could definitely be confused about, you know, what's the king of cups in reverse? You know what? Yeah. Spirit knew what I was about to do. Yeah, yeah. Spirit say yes. Somebody could be confused within a month. Somebody could be confused about their sexuality and everything. The seven of swords. What's the knight of wands? This person is arrogant and reckless. Yes, Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. This per there's a lot of people out here, okay? This person could be married, got a mistress on the side, Seven of Pentacles, the higher friend, the empress. I'm telling you, this person could be married, okay? Somebody could be unhappy in a marriage. Somebody could be, you know, obsessed with this, you know, whoever this person that they see as very confident. Um, Somebody is obsessed with this empress, but this empress, I'm telling you, they're protected by God, whoever this sweetheart is. Somebody could be married and want to make you a mistress, eight of wands to the devil. Mm. Ooh, child. I never called him the queen of wands. Mm. Five of cups. Somebody is in regret. Somebody is in regret. Mm. What's the queen of pentacles? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Nine of Swords. Temperance. Yeah, somebody wanted to cause some type of um anxiety to you. But I'm going to take it. Um, I'm being called to put the Nine of Swords in reverse because that's how I wanted to come out. Um, you know, you know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and you're definitely recovering or improving for a, from a negative, um, stressful situation. And with Archangel Michael showing up here, you he letting you know you can expect good news. Okay, Six of Wands. Okay, um, you're very much protected. Okay, Ace of Wands. You're gonna get a whole new passion, new beginning. Somebody just gotta just like <laughs> sit with whatever they wanted for you. Let's see, Holy Spirit. Give me some angel messages before I close this out for my beautiful collective sun seeds. We have shield yourself. Be willing to forgive. Singing and dancing. So some of you guys can be singers or dancers, or or that's just a way that you like to um use to express yourself. Um, you know, help enhance you know your magical psychic powers by moving your body, <laughs> and be willing to forgive. I feel like um, spirit is saying ask your angels for help to clear your mind of you know um people that you had um shit you know um exchange energies with okay because everybody doesn't mean well you know but there's a shield around you okay that's protecting you okay yeah archangel raphael and crown chakra and throat chakra wow you are a powerful light worker indigo oh child so something something about your throat chakra and crown chakra is something that somebody Something that your intuition was was telling you, somebody somebody doesn't like the fact that you speak up. 
You know, somebody somebody doesn't like, like the fact that you have these gifts. You just know with the crown chakra and dual chakra, they don't like that you speak up. Maybe you constantly, you know, expose, exposing them for their bull crap. Or for some of you guys, you don't even say nothing. You just pull your energy back and just walk away. But Spirit is saying you're a powerful light worker and you're an indigo. Okay? Um, meaning you're highly sensitive. You're a natural born leader. Um, your great service, your great service that you do, um, you know, it, it, it brings a lot of great blessings and love and service for the divine. Okay. Somebody thought that they was going to steal from you and benefit off the, off of what, what the universe give you. I don't think so. Yeah. You had too much integrity. There's a shield around you. Archangel Raphael. Okay. Listen, forgive them, not for them, but for you. Okay. Give me more Holy Spirit. It's like somebody wanted all your love. They wanted everything that you had in you to keep you moving, moving forward, and surviving. They wanted all of that from you. Like, damn. You a goddess? You a goddess. Express your divine feminine energy, embracing magical intuition and nurturing qualities. Heart chakra. Okay. Um, the answer that you seek are in your heart right now, okay? Somebody knows how loving and caring you are, parents. This could be somebody's parents or someone who you share children with. But listen to your intuitive feelings. Something that you feel is right, is on point, is on point, okay? There's nothing to be afraid of. Vacuum away fear and twin flame. Somebody could have wanted you to be afraid of your twin flame. Um, you know, oh, Somebody could have known that you was on a twin flame journey. How powerful that was. You look happiness and relationship. Yeah. Somebody don't want you to be in happy, successful relationships. They don't. Yeah. Abundance and grief. Somebody is mourning the loss of you. They feel regretful for putting you in competition or competing with you or trying to steal from you. You know, or putting you in third party situation. Because somebody realizing... You are the abundance, love, and denial. This is somebody who was in denial about the love that you shared, that you gave out to this person. We have patience and adversity. I feel like you was going through a lot with this temperance being here. You've been through a lot. You just needed to have patience, okay, and trust at this time, you know, because fear is an illusion. Somebody was trying to cause fear, um make you overthink or just trying to make you worry but i feel like you this was the time for you to stand in your truth yeah purpose and acceptance this was the time for you to stand in your truth okay and definitely your intuition is very strong and someone is also seeing how powerful and strong your intuition is mm, 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 mm. anything else holy spirit it's like somebody didn't want you to leave yeah, they and they didn't care. They was gonna hold you, hold you back. Yeah, freedom and judgment. Somebody did not want you to leave. Freedom and judgment. You you call you made a final decision about somebody and you freed yourself. They did not want you to leave. They they could not take the rejection, success, blame, growth, and failure and change. Somebody blame you for the failure that they have in their life. Somebody blame you for the changes that they're going through in their life. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you're successful or you're growing or you're becoming successful. Somebody blames you because their life is not your life. When everybody has their own unique purpose. That's why you freed yourself from whoever this friend is, okay? But somebody, yeah. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. Yeah, impact. Somebody was playing on you. Somebody knows you're a powerful light worker or you listen to your intuitive feelings. That's why you freed yourself. You knew this person was playing on you. Okay, yeah. Envy and judgment. This person envies you. Okay? They envied you and you knew that. You knew that. The nerve of them. To try to paint some picture. When, come on now. Forgiveness and courage? Yeah, Sarinda. You had you listen. You surrendered. And you had the courage to keep moving on. 
Whoever this person is, they want your forgiveness, discipline, and peace. You had the willpower. You had the self-discipline. Okay? And whatever the situation was for you. And that's why you're getting a victory. I feel like the envy is something... Somebody really did not like the fact that you you decided to like reject the energy. It didn't sit right with you. You was warned and you listened. Somebody can't stand that you got integrity as well. I love you, sun seeds. Until we get up next time. Later.